Hi, my name is Dr. Buzz Palmer. I'm the CEO of The Actuator, Australia's national medtech catalyst. So we see a lot of opportunity in Australia in medtech, but we don't see a pathway for those young entrepreneurs to take their ideas further. So what we've decided to do is enable a pathway, a pipeline opportunity, focused on three major areas. The first is capital. Second thing is capability. And of course, the third thing, the reason that we sort of did the actuator was because a lot of the uh, entrepreneurs in medtech are first time entrepreneurs, which is a huge risk. My name is Niels van Sperntek uh, from Tunic Air, and we are developing a clamp style blood pressure monitor that easily clips on for the upper arm. My name is Xing Yu Sheng, I'm co founder of Navi Medical Technologies. We're creating a medical device to improve uh, the lives of critically ill newborns. It's an overlooked problem in newborns. There are similar medical devices in the adult medicine market, but they rely on slightly different technologies and rely on slightly different methods to be able to provide this similar real-time feedback. The Actuator has given us the right resources, the right connections, so that we can really execute on the structure and planning framework that they have, and that we can really meet the right milestones to get a product into the market. The guidance and the mentoring uh, are two big aspects for me, uh, but most of all I enjoy the network that the uh, actuator uh, brings along. The Good Shed's great. The, the thing about the Good Shed is that we're surrounded by an organic group of people. You know, we've got the Stone and Chalk, the FinTech group, we've got Launch Big, we've got Sproutex, the National Agriculture Accelerator, of course, the actuator here. We need to grow the next generation of entrepreneurs, the next generation of leaders, we need to grow the next generation of startups and really start positioning ourselves globally as a healthcare capital of the world. Authorised by Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.